Hi folks, uh, this is a demo on how to um, develop new CI components and share with the rest of the community. So here I have like um, a project that I just created um, and where I added a readme file. We're going to see later like the, the purpose of the readme file. And also I have created a template YAML file. This is the configuration that we are going to have all our users to include in their CI, GitLab CI um, configuration. So this is a very simple example. Uh, we have two uh, jobs that both like are being defined in the test stage. And, and we simply uh, are going to include this configuration in our GitLab CI YAML uh, and we expect two jobs to be added there. So it's a very basic example. Um, but what I want to do now, is given that now I have this template YAML file that our, our other um, users can use, uh, I want to first of all make sure that any changes to this file and anything else to the repository are going through checks in CI. So I created a GitLab CI YAML file I'm going to go through uh, this file to see like what exactly it does. So first of all, we're going to use a new syntax for include component. And this syntax actually is going to include always the component from the same project and from the given uh, uh, CI commit SHA. Uh, so we always test the, the current version of it. Uh, we define two stages and, and, and then we add Basically, so we expect that when we include this component, the two jobs we defined inside that component are going to be added into this pipeline. Um, to make sure this actually works correctly, we have added here a bunch of um, jobs um, to, that run some of these tests. But the first test we actually are going to do automatically is that by including this component, we make sure that the syntax that is being added by the component um, is going to be uh, valid, that there is no uh, syntax uh, errors, and that all the requirements for the component are satisfied. Uh, and then we have also more kind of a custom uh, checks. Uh, for example, this one uses core and JQ tool to um, ensure that the jobs we expect from the component are actually being added to the pipeline. So we look for the pipeline uh, jobs uh, using curl, and then we are gonna filter the jobs by name and select those that have component job as a prefix. And we expect those to be two, otherwise we're gonna fail. Um, then another check we have here is that we use the project uh, API and we check that the description is not null. So, um, because we expect the project description to be uh, present when we end up publishing this um, repo components repository to the catalog, uh, it's gonna be better for displaying this, uh, this as a resource. Uh, and also we need to ensure that there is like um, a readme file added and on the root directory. And so these are going to be running uh, anytime we make changes to to on any branch, uh, and, we, and finally we have um, automatic release creation. If we tag, we create a new tag, and this tag has a very um, kind of matches a very specific regular expression, which is starting with v plus the a number, so v1, v2, and if this. If this commit tag is created, then we are going to create a, automatically a release. Uh, and a new release, when it's created, we are going, it's going to be an official version um, that is going to be um, uh, considered for this um, com component repository. So let's have a look at what happened. Uh, so now I'm going to make a change um, to this file. Um, actually, I'm going to make a change to the actual template, I'm going to add a new file, a new job, uh, add a new job three. I'm going to commit this and add job three, uh, commit and push. I'm going to create a new branch, add job three, and, and we create a new merge request for this. Uh, merge request. So what we expect now, we have a pipeline running. Uh, let's check this pipeline. So you have all the checks that we 
we're expecting plus the three jobs that are actually being uh, included from the component. Um, what we expect is actually this test is failing because insecure jobs expects two jobs to be added, but now we have the, the third job. So we're going to fix this. Um, by, in this case, I'm going to fix the test. So I'm going to make sure this has to be three. Um, fix test. So now when we go to the merge request again, and we check the pipeline running, uh, this should get green. Um, yeah, we see this is gonna pass now. So um, given now we have a, a, a green pipeline, um, I'm gonna merge this. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna merge this, and now we have a pipeline running on master, on main branch. As we can see, this is now running a main. Uh, what I want to do is now, I want to create a tag, so I can make sure that, it seems if this passes, if this passes, I want to create a new tag. So I'm happy with this new version of the component. Um, I'm going to create a new tag. Um, so from main, I'm going to create, I've already a few releases created, so I'm going to create a 1.2. Uh, and we can see now that as soon as this uh, tag is created, uh, we check the pipelines, uh, we see a new pipeline being created, and this time it runs for the tag. Uh, if we check this pipeline, now we have also a release uh, job. Uh, create a release job, uh, which um, is going to automatically create a release if all the tests pass successfully. Um, we see this is running. So this is correct, so successfully has created a release. So if we could now go to our releases, uh, you can see version 1.2 has been created automatically. Uh, so this is going to be our official version, and uh, eventually when we have the um, functionality to publish the entire components um, project to the catalog, um, we're going to see these uh, re official releases being uh, displayed there as, as versions for the components. Thank you.